Number two then from paper one of the 2021 Advanced Higher Maths Resource Paper. Four mark question for some little operations on matrices. It gives you this little two by two, two rows, two columns, matrix A, and this little three by two, three rows, two columns, matrix B. And first thing for two marks is find the product A, B dashed. Of course, you have to do it that way around. Multiplication of matrices isn't commutative. Right, so what have you got? Well, A, that's just whatever it says. So I've got negative 2, 4, negative 3, 7. You have to multiply that by, and that little dash means the transpose of B. Now, the transpose means just flip all the rows into columns. First row becomes first column. Second row becomes second column. Third row becomes third column. And in fact, doing that gets the first mark. Now you just carry the multiplication. And of course, they can be multiplied. You can always check that. That's a two by two. It's got two rows, two columns. That's a two again, but it's a two by three because it's got two rows, three columns. And if they match, you can carry out the calculation. Now, the first row gives the first row answers. And of course, that answer will be at the outside, two by three. The first row gives the first row answers. The second row gives the second row answers. So what have you got? So you've got, I'll just... So all negative 2 times 4, negative 8, 4 times 0, 0. Negative 2 times 2, negative 4, plus 12, plus 4, plus 4. Of course, there's no marks for all the microarithmetic. Negative, now the second row. The second row gives the second row answers. The first column gives the first column answers and so on. Negative 12, plus 0. Negative 6, plus 21. 6 plus 7. That doesn't get that mark. Because you could just have gone straight to this. So that's negative 8, 8, 8. And negative 12, 15, 13 for that mark. So part B, for two marks, find this, a to the negative one. That's the inverse of the matrix. Now, finding the inverse of a matrix is quite a complicated business. It's quite easy in the case of a two by two. Luckily, that's why it's only two marks. Without going into details, what you have to do to get the inverse of, and it has to be a square matrix, is you can transpose it before or after. So transpose it first of all, so that's this business. So transposing it in the case of a square matrix just means flipping it all around the main diagonal. You then have to replace every single element by its cofactor. Now the cofactor is, if you knock out the row and column, it's whatever's left in the matrix. It's the determinant of that submatrix with a sign allocated to it according to the position. And then you have to divide the whole thing by the determinant of the matrix. Well, in the case of a 2x2, two two, you can see that their cofactors will just be the opposite one with the appropriate sign. So it just ends up as, and this is all you learn, you just learn the pattern. You just learn, right, what do you do for that? Well, you flip that diagonal, you keep that the same but change their signs. And then you multiply it by 1 over the determinant. Now, the determinant of A... It's just the main diagonal product, I'll just put it down, negative 2 times 7 minus the other diagonal product, negative 3 times 4. So it's a negative 14 plus a 12, which is a negative 2. So it would be that part. So getting the determinant was one mark. So that was the major calculation in it. And putting it together is the other one, but you'd want to tidy it up because I don't really want a negative out there. So you could put that negative inside, because at least that way there will only be two negatives in the whole picture, instead of three. So you could have a half of, and then the negatives will appear here, but disappear from there. That would do. Or you could just pop the whole thing inside and have negative seven up and two, negative three up and two, two, one. For that mark. <laughs>